uh, what, what approaches or methodologies do the Machados take that are maybe different than uh, the, the Gracie approach? A huge difference that I've noticed. Um, and a lot of people like the Machados. Chuck Norris went with the Machados. Dan and Asanto went with the Machados. A lot of people go to the Machados because they are so humble. They are very open-minded. They take everybody in with open arms, and they are not biased of anything. They don't, they don't, they don't, it's like, they don't really, it's not, nothing's a big deal. They're very easygoing, laid back. Um, and that's what I liked. I was just like, they didn't expect anything from me. You know, and, and it was just like, it wasn't a one-way street. It was a two-way street. It was give and take. You know, one of the most biggest things I ever appreciated was, I actually had a good question once. <laughs> to, 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 uh, one of my professors, Machado, um, Haji Machado. And he's like, uh, and this is what really impressed me a lot, really, it, it, it did, it just humbled me, too, and, and it gave me a, a good perspective on and, and being a teacher. And um, I asked him a question, and he looks at me, and he's like, hmm, I don't know. And I was like, it's the best answer. did I just ask a question where the professor doesn't know? I was like, oh, this is going on in my head, I'm like, nowhere! And I was just like, he's like, let me get, let me see, let's feel it. And he got down there with me, and he really went in there, fixed it, boom. He came up with an awesome answer. And this, because sometimes you have to feel things kinesthetically. You know, some things are hard to express verbally, or you can't just, some people aren't very visual, and they have to get in there and do it. Sometimes some techniques are like that for me, that I understand now. But he got in there, showed me all this stuff, fixed it, looked for a solution, made it better, fixed my game, and I was like, wow. That, if that's not humble, I don't know what is. Exactly. He just told me he didn't know and he had to get in. That was cool to me. Yeah. And, I, and I never forgot that. Well, a lot of times we idealize our instructors or be, yes, because yes. of their histories or, right. or accomplishments. And so we feel, we, we, we create this, this, this uh, image. And then we try to self-image actualize as opposed mm -hmm. to self-actualize. We try to take this and build an image of who we want to be. Right. And we mold it on someone else and we never truly find ourselves. And it sounds like that uh, Mr. Machado was someone who was self-actualized, who was says, I don't know it all, so let me figure it out and we'll see what we come up with. And that may be somewhat of a simple answer some people take, but it has so much depth and so much genuine humanity in it right. that it's underappreciated in a, lot of, a yes. lot of senses, I would say. And, and, and another point that was very valid to me and that I understood later is it's like, well, if I got him in this position, it's not like he wouldn't know what to do. Yeah. He, his body would find the right thing to do to be in there so many years, you know. But to give me a good answer, mm -hmm. he got in and got his, his feet dirty. He went in there. Exactly. He, he was able to shape his paradigm right. to fit yours to help you express yours more. Exactly. Exactly. That, and that's only what I, I believe that any, any good teacher always does. Yeah. Exactly. That was a really it's good part answer. part of what made me. Um, we're off well, six minutes. Okay. Uh, well, besides uh, some of the, the more well-known people that you've uh, tried to emulate and, 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 and practice uh, what they've learned, uh, is there any other role models that you've had uh, that maybe not so well-known? Um, yes. There's a, I have, a, I have a, a lot of role models that I like to feed off of. I, I believe the more role models you have, the more intelligent you, you, you are or expansive in, in where you want to be or get to. And I have a lot of uh, high expectations of myself in different realms, and so I have a lot of role models. Um, I have a lot of role models that are um, outside of jujitsu, you know, uh, great teachers, great teachers of, of our time, great leaders of our time. You know, obviously people know these people, but there's some people in, in, that no, nobody knows anything about. But they're delivering something, and like you said, they're in a garage, and nobody yeah. even knows who they are. But you know something? I've grown immensely off of, of, of many people from many walks of life to make up who I am for what I do. You know, and, and, and I have the flexibility of seeing how this, or the, the near association and the mental flexibility to see how, how, even though he's talking about something else that relates to something else in life, I can see how I can apply it to my own life and make it better for everything I do, including my jujitsu. Because the more I expand my mind and have an understanding of how I can make something better off of something uh, way off the wall, if I can make a connection to that, that makes me more intelligent. But if I find no connections and I just only, only the, everything just right here in front of me, that's just what makes sense. That ah, is too far fetched. Nah. But if I can make an association how this would correlate with this, which correlates with that, and this, and that, and this, all these things, now I'm increasing my neuroplasticity, seeing how things can adapt to each other and be the same, 
quite different, and make the connections so they can work together. So now I have a structured model that goes with a completely different structured model and I can intertwine mine so I can overcome their game and defeat theirs with mine and being able to adapt to theirs and seeing how theirs works and solving that puzzle so I can shut them down and get my end result of what I want to be the outcome. Okay. And that goes with anything else in life, not just the strategy and the setups of jujitsu and the concepts and the principles, that goes with anything in life. And the more you can make that out with different walks of life, the more intelligent you're going to be. Exactly. Good yes. answer. Very good answer. Um, okay, is there any last comments or anything that you personally would like to talk about that we haven't covered? <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a tough question. <laughs> Finally, so I think you guys that's the first comment that we ever had, right? <laughs> now, I can go on this thing for another six hours. But, yeah, right. <laughs> but um, yeah, but you know, there's just different facets of what we're talking about. We can get more in depth and get breaking mm -hmm. down to its little intricacies and everything, so we can have a full, better understanding. And this is what I deliver to my students when I'm breaking apart things. Yeah, your speech. There's just so oh. much to say, but I really, I think I've, I've pretty much laid down the majority of the foundation of what you know, what we are all about, mm -hmm. and what I think the direction of what we're taking. Uh, and, and to develop that even better, and to cover, and to, to touch more lives, and to make more lives expansive. You know what I mean? Because it's not one person I want to touch. I want to touch, uh, I want to be able to change a lot of people's uh, uh, mindsets of what they're capable of doing. And, and, and where they can carry that in other walks of life. Because I have guys that are in very important positions. You know, I've guys, I have guys that put their life on the line. Yeah. You know, and and just recently, I heard a, a, a very I hear success stories. One was on the news in in Kansas City. He's a law enforcement guy, and he was on pursuit on, on a rape in progress, and um, he was the first one on the scene, and he fought the guy, and it was a battle. It wasn't with weapons. He was in the dirt fighting this guy, and you know what saved him? The jujitsu that I taught him. He yeah. called me up, and I got emails from them, and in Texas, you're not going to believe this. They showed me the link of where on the news it was. He saved the woman's life, the rape in progress, and got the bad guy. To me, and the guy, oh, the guy, what I didn't mention was the guy was trying to reach for his gun to kill him with his own gun. And he got the guy, submitted him, cuffed him, got the situation because of jujitsu. To me, that is success. That is success. That is success. We're on the one minute mark. So, Mr. Ruiz, uh, thank you very much for this interview, and thank we would you. be honored to come back and speak with you again sometime as well, um, you. whenever you okay. are available to us. We would love to do that again for because sure. uh, we found your answers thorough and educative and humble, and um, it's nice to interview a genuine human being. Thank you. Right. Not just a jujitsu robot. It was right. really good right. to meet a real a real man. So, thank we you. appreciate it very much. I appreciate it.